everyone and welcome back to my channel long time no see again it's me hi today um i've just decided do you know what i'm gonna bite the bullet and i'm going to film this makeup look that i've got on today using the new jeffrey St <laughs> i am so out of practice with this i haven't done it in so long I had to go for a wee about three times before I started filming this. I've been stopping and starting and oh my god and it's red hot in here and anyway let's stop complaining. So I'm I'm doing a makeup look using the new Bloodlust palette by Jeffree Star. I like this palette. I know it's had a lot of mixed reviews but I like it. I think there's enough purples in there and yeah I've used it four times actually before no I've used it two times before today. So it isn't new for me today. This is the actual palette itself. So yeah, I've actually taken some inspiration from Leanne's beauty blog. She's got a blog, I work with her. I think her blog's absolutely amazing. She's just started a YouTube channel over here. So I will link her YouTube channel and Instagram in the description box. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so crap at this. I'm so not good at this anymore. Right, I shall link her Instagram, YouTube channel in the description box below if you want to go check her out. But she just done a, um, a skincare review over on the channel I watched it yesterday and I really liked it. So yeah, so let's get on with this video. Let's do a talk for I'm not going to do a talk over. There might be a lot of noises in the background, but it can't be helped. Oh. Why am I so nervous? I've literally gone to the toilet about two times. So I've got nothing on my face apart from my brows, but I always have to do my brows because there's no way I'm coming on here with no brows because I've literally got nothing left. I'm going to start with the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. Because that's what I'm loving just to prime my face. This isn't a first impression because I have actually used this palette two times before this but I thought I'm not I'm gonna film a video I'm gonna do it so yeah the base I've been absolutely loving at the moment is the P Louise base I have the vault here and it comes in eight or nine shades something like that so it starts all you can have all the way from the spectrum of white all the way up to number eight so they're all called rumor and they've all got numbers and I tend to stick to rumor number two I'm just going to clip my hair back. So I'm going to start off from P. Louise base in rumour number two. I'm not, you can tell I'm not used to doing this. I'm like, I don't know where to look. I'm trying to get bloody mirror. So I start by underlining my brow with the P. Louise base. You'll have to excuse my skin today. I've just put some fake tan on, so it clings to every single pore. And once you've done the same thing to the other eye, you just want to pop the base all over your lid. This base is absolutely amazing. I got this for Christmas and I've never used anything other than this base. Eyeshadows just cling to it and they are so pigmented, it has really changed the game for me. I think it's absolutely amazing. Once I pop it all over the lid, I like to blend it out with a sponge just to make it that little bit more seamless, ready for shadow application. Sometimes drag it underneath my eyes, just in case I have any fallout and I can just wipe it away. Here is the star of the show. I wasn't sure about this makeup palette when I did see it online and I usually buy all this stuff because of the big hype that it has around it. But now that I've bought it, I am, I am actually glad that I have got it. Um, it just feels so luxurious and so nice and the packaging is absolutely amazing. The only thing is I'm getting loads of like bits of fluff, cat hair stuck to it, you name it, I'll... This, this makeup palette within a few weeks is going to end up absolutely filthy. What the eyeshadow palette is like, I'll just take the cover off. I like to keep the cover off because you do get a lot of fallout from the pan. I'm not sure what I'm in the mood for but usually I just... 
go with the flow so let's see what I come out with. I'm gonna dive into Blood Queen I think and then I'm just gonna tap that into the crease and with this eyeshadow base that I've got on, it just makes the colours so pigmented. It just gives it that bit of pop. And by the way, I've been, I'm using a Morphe M441 brush to do this. Once I've done that, um, this makeup is going to look crazy until it's actually finished. So um, I'm going to blend it out with a bit of a lighter colour. And the colour I'm going to go for is up in the top corner, it's Royal Pink. I'm going to be using a Morphe M43, M43 Free Brush. And you literally don't go, don't go heavy heavy handed it just seems to be really light strokes <sighs> that's a bit of fluff and you've got a nice blended out edge compared to the and other i'm just going to set all that at the top with another fluffy m4 Holland brush just to set the base at the top and i'm going to be going in with dungeon and i'm going to be popping that on the outer corner What's all that noise outside? And I'm just going to tap that on. It just brings a bit of definition back to the lid. Now I'm going with the absolutely amazing colour, Executioner. I'm going to be taking a Morphe M431 brush. Oh my God, look at that colour. Look at the little specks in there. And I just like to do this on the outer V. You see all the fallout underneath my eyes? It don't matter. This is why I do my base at the end. So this is the fun part. I'm going to make a cut crease out of the P. Louise base. So because I have slightly hooded eyes at the end, I need to make sure that when I do my cut crease, I can still see that line. like so so it needs to be about there because you need to make sure when your eyes are actually open you can still see the base so then i'm going to fill that base in with wet jewel and pink magic and then i'm going to blend out with the executioner color at the end i'm using a morphe m152 brush and m508 brush to do this so i will be switching between the two i tend to use the 508 brush more for the inner corner so i'm going to start off with wet jewel now i will say something these new formulas sting my eyes but they look absolutely amazing so it only stings my eyes while it's wet they don't sting my eyes for the rest of the day but hey no pain no gain oh look at that look at that colour and you just want to go and do the same thing to the other eye. Then I'm just going to pop some eyeliner on. The eyeliner I use is the Rimmel London Exaggerate. Then I'm just going to quickly pop some mascara on. I've been using the Bad Girl Bang Lash from Benefit. This just acts like a shelf. Well, I call it a shelf or something for my false lashes to rest So for my base, I've been using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation in the colour 170. This colour is a little bit light for me at the moment, so what I tend to do is take some of the P. Louise base in number 07 Rumour and mix it in with this to get the shade that I want. Take a few pumps on my hand together with the P. Louise dark base like so. Let's see that the colour hmm, Not a bad batch. So what I like to start to do is I get a thin little angled brush and I just draw around my brows because um, 
I draw my eyebrows on, I don't have any eyebrows unfortunately, so when I do get up to the top area I, I find it really hard to draw them out with a sponge so I will use whatever foundation I'm using and I'll just go around the brows, just right up to the brow and then when I get back up later I will blend that back out with my sponge. For concealer, I'm using the Ball Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the colour Snow. This is far, 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 far too light for me at the moment, but I do like to brighten up this area because I feel like I just look flat with all the same skin tone. So, eyes area. Down the centre of my nose. And then to set all that underneath my eyes, I use a light mineralized skin finish by MAC. And for the rest of my face, I use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the color 005 Silky Beige. So one's really light and one's really dark. And then for bronzer, I always use my contour kit light to medium my Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's old, it's bruised. It's battered, it's been well used, but I can't use anything else. It's just the best thing I find, it just blends out on the high parts of my face, around my temple and around the sides of my forehead, just to give me a bit of that colour back that I lost from all the setting powder. Then for the actual contour line, I'll use a bronzing matte powder and it's just the colour bronze and it just looks like that. pop it underneath my bottom lip and around my jawline and for blush I've just used the California by Benefit and then for highlight I've been using my BH Cosmetics Zub Zero palette and I want to use the colour In Blankets oh you can't really see it in this light In Blankets because it's got like a pinky purpley sheen to it I don't know if you can see that I've never found anything as good at putting highlighter on than what this is. Pop some on the cupid's bow. And I just need to do some colour underneath my eyes. Ooh. Love that colour. Now for lashes. I think they're in here found them. I am a nightmare. Shut the drawer. <laughs> I am an absolute nightmare when it comes to finding stuff. So I'm using me Luxury Mink Dicky Bow lashes in DB5. little trick for applying lashes. I also, I like to put a little bit of the glue before I apply at the front, well the inner and the outer, just to give it that extra bit of stickiness. Everyone always asks me, how long does it take to get your eyelashes on? And literally, if you leave it for a bit to get tacky, all you've got to do is place on each corner and just pin together with your thumb and your pointy, your natural lashes with the pulses. And that's how quick it is to get them on. And fill it in. Bottom lashes now, just need to apply some mascara. And finally, lips. I'm just popping Jeffree Star's I'm Nude On. The gloss I'm using today is from his new collection. It's called Iridescent Front. It's matching with the whole purple theme. I'm just gonna pop that straight over the top of the um, matte lipstick. Right, 
right, so that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a long time since I filmed myself doing my makeup on here and it just feel like I've not been away. I just don't have the confidence. Oh, oh my God. I forgot what the world's been hard things. Max Fix Plus, oh my God. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little play with the new Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. I really, really like this palette. I know people have had mixed reviews on it, but I can't fault it. I think it's absolutely stunning. It's one of my new favourite palettes because I was kind of stuck on Jawbreaker palette since he last released it. So yeah, I think any makeup palette that Jeffree Star releases, I'll probably buy it because I feel like at this point I'm just collecting them all. So yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I'm not going to promise that I'll be doing any more videos because we all know that I probably won't. I don't know whether this is a one-off. I don't know. We'll see, but I quite enjoyed filming. It was something diff- well, different- I know, like, bleh. I can't get my words out. It was something different and I enjoyed it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.